The Star of Bethlehem, or the Christmas Star, is one of history's most fascinating mysteries. Mentioned in ancient stories, it has puzzled scientists, historians, and space enthusiasts for centuries. What was this mysterious light in the sky? Was it a natural event, a rare alignment of planets, or something else entirely? In this exploration, we'll uncover the science behind the Star of Bethlehem, look at its history, explore possible astronomical explanations, and discover how modern tools are helping us solve this age-old puzzle. To understand the Star of Bethlehem scientifically, we must first explore how ancient civilizations perceive celestial events. According to the Gospel of Matthew, the Star of Bethlehem guided three magi, or wise men, to Jerusalem over 2,000 years ago. After consulting King Herod, they followed the star to Bethlehem, where they found the newborn baby Jesus. The historicity of this account is difficult to verify, but it poses an intriguing question. What could the star of Bethlehem have been? Ancient cultures meticulously observed and recorded the night sky. Babylonian astronomers, for example, documented planetary motions with incredible accuracy, contributing significantly to early astronomy. Star charts were another critical tool for ancient astronomers. It allowed them to track celestial bodies and predict their movements. Discoveries of star charts from civilizations like the Babylonians and Chinese highlight their sophisticated understanding of astronomy, which influenced navigation, agriculture, and even cultural beliefs. At the time, celestial events were often interpreted as divine messages or omens. A new star or a striking planetary alignment could signify an important earthly event, such as the birth of a ruler. This perspective is particularly relevant to the Magi, who were likely astrologer priests skilled in interpreting the night sky. Over the years, several hypotheses have emerged, ranging from planetary conjunctions to supernovae. One prominent theory suggests that the star of Bethlehem was a rare planetary conjunction. In 7 BCE, Jupiter and Saturn aligned closely in the constellation Pisces, a significant event for ancient observers. Similarly, in 2 BCE, Venus and Jupiter appeared so close together in the night sky that they would have looked like a single bright point of light. Another theory posits that the star of Bethlehem could have been a supernova. Chinese astronomers recorded a guest star in 5 BCE, which may correspond to this event. However, the absence of a detectable supernova remnant in relevant regions of the sky today weakens this hypothesis. Comets have also been suggested as candidates. A bright comet visible for weeks or months could have been interpreted as a guiding star. However, comets were often seen as omens of disaster, not positive signs, which makes this explanation less likely in the context of the nativity story. Astronomer Michael Molnar supports the conjunction theory in his book, The Star of Bethlehem. He argues that an alignment involving Jupiter, Saturn, and the moon in the constellation Aries in 6 BCE fits the description. This conjunction occurred in the early morning and could explain why the Magi lost sight of the star before seeing it rest over Bethlehem. Retrograde motion, when a planet appears to reverse its direction due to Earth's orbital movement, might account for the resting effect. Modern astronomy provides invaluable tools to explore ancient celestial events, shedding light on the mysteries of the past. Astronomical software allows researchers to recreate the night sky from thousands of years ago. These tools help pinpoint notable celestial alignments and rule out less likely explanations. Simulations confirm the rare triple conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn in 7 BCE and the Venus-Jupiter alignment in 2 BCE, both plausible candidates for the Star of Bethlehem. Modern celestial events, like the Great Conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn in December 2020, 
provide valuable comparisons. This rare event, marking the closest observable alignment of the two planets in nearly 400 years, appeared as a single, bright star to the naked eye. It captivated millions and offered a glimpse into how such phenomena might have inspired awe in ancient observers. Events like the Venus-Jupiter conjunctions of June 2015 and March 2023 also provide context for understanding ancient sky watchers' interpretations of bright celestial alignments. Similarly, lunar occultations, where the moon temporarily obscures a star or planet, add dramatic phenomena that could have been seen as unique signs by ancient astronomers. Another intriguing celestial object is Tabby's star. This star gained fame due to its unusual and dramatic fluctuations in brightness, first observed by the Kepler Space Telescope. Unlike regular stars with consistent dimming caused by planets passing in front of them, Tabby's star exhibits irregular dips, leading to theories ranging from natural explanations, like clouds of comets or dust, to more exotic possibilities, including the presence of an alien megastructure. Although unrelated to the star of Bethlehem, Tabby's star reminds us how celestial phenomena can ignite curiosity and speculation, much like ancient observers would have been inspired by unusual sights in the sky. By combining historical records with contemporary discoveries, we gain a richer perspective on how the heavens continue to connect us to our past and fuel our curiosity about the universe. Thank you for joining us on this exploration. If you found this journey as fascinating as we did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, keep looking up and stay curious.